What is going on everyone? Thank you guys for the channel. My name is Robert Rich. If you guys knew my channel, just not post videos every single day. At least I try to. Uh, but today we're going to be doing kind of like a vlog today. So we're going to be checking out some cool animals around the shop and pretty much just hang out the shop today because uh, I've showed you guys a lot of my stuff so I don't want it to be repetitive. So I just want to show you guys what we're doing at the shop. And also I just want to say we hit 1,500 subscribers. I almost said 15,000. So we hit 1,500 subscribers and I couldn't be happier guys. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. That has been truly awesome. Every couple days we're moving up 100 subscribers which is incredible. So thank you guys a lot. I really do appreciate it. Um, and I, you know, I do love you guys so thank you. Uh, but today we're going to check out some beautiful looking animals and hang out at the shop. So let's jump right into it. Right, so pretty much we just got done giving the two stink shots. And I'm going to go ahead and give everyone a store tour because there's been a lot of requests for that. So might as well do it. So I'll be giving you guys a tour around my shop that we own here in Corona, California. So let's jump right, right guys, into it. When you walk into the shop, this is what it's going to be like. We have our gremlin right up there. And then right here, the two Burmese pythons we got that I gave my shop, the shots to. And then uh, just go walking around. So when you walk up, you're going to come to the right right here. That is Ryan's Asian water. It's always on the videos. That's Jambi. And we got another Burmese right there. There's a couple shed in this case we have to get out. And then we have a Suriname boa. We got some baby tortoises right there. We got my tegu that I never show on the video. This is actually an ice tegu albino. Uh, her, her name is Frosty. We got beer dragons for sale, adults. Blue iguanas back there. Um, so let's come back over here. So these are some hypos that my dad's raising up. Or jungles, my bad. Jungle bows we're raising up. And these are some arachnids. So we got emperor scorpions and different kinds of tarantulas in that as well. We got peach stroke monitor down there. Uh, we got mountain horn lizards down there. And I'll take some of the animals out later to show you guys. Right now I'm just showing you guys, you know, just a brief thing through the store real quick. And as you come down here, you're going to see Sunny. Right there, and then got a couple of shed we gotta get out of there as well. We got Artemis right there, and people come here all the time, feed her for $5. It's pretty cool. And then we got some turtles right there. And then we got the counter, that's usually where you find Ryan. Ryan Ryan's not here today. And then we got uh, bulbs for all your uh, reptile lighting needs. And then we got this giant Pac Man frog that just keeps growing. Uh, it actually doesn't look that big, but it's about it's about that big, so it's actually getting decent size. And then, yeah, and then Ryan actually made these pretty cool tarantula uh, hides that I'm not going to take out because I'm not good with them like he is, but still pretty cool. Um, and then we also have a purple, purple starburst uh, bird eater, so these are the huge tarantulas. And we just got a bunch of supplies down there. So it's not a giant shop, but pretty much has everything you need for your reptile. So it's pretty cool. But yeah, right now I'll be taking out some snakes down here so you can see what we All right, got. Alright guys, so right here I'm holding is a lesser ball python. We actually only have this one left. Um, we sold one today and uh, she is a pretty awesome female. We got some other ones in here. These are some het toffees and het pie ball, uh, ball pythons as well. So beautiful pattern and uh, I mean, even the normals have really awesome pattern, especially when they're head, they have the more white on there. So, pretty cool uh, looking stuff. Got this last one back here. So, this one's a little bit of stuck shit that we need to get off um, because we don't like selling animals here with stuck shit on them. Uh, just because most people who buy the fresh reptile do not know how to get that off. So, I like to give them a healthy looking reptile. But yeah, these guys are actually about to move up to adult mice. So, um, they're growing nicely and they look I'm awesome. I'm not going to take this animal out because it's not the nicest animal, but this is a long yukata boa. Now she's not for sale, we're actually raising her up and if you see right here, you can actually see she has a pretty good meal on her, but check her out. Her head pattern is awesome and uh, when they're babies, they have more of this grayish color that you can see um, on the head right there, but when they get older, they start black out. And you can just tell she's so checking me out right now, I was like, yo, what's going on? Um, you know, she's starting to come up very slowly and say, you know, I hope you get closer, but 
Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, so just wanna show you guys this beautiful right, guys, animal. So this is the tricolor hognose snake I showed you guys last time, but he shed. So I just wanted to show you guys his beauty. Check him out. He's absolutely stunning looking. He looks like a milk snake, which is insane. I've actually never seen um, the tried colored hognoses before. So when I saw this, I was like, dude, what? But yeah, this is uh, this is pretty cool. And like I said before, to my knowledge, they're not related to the, I mean, like you can't breed them, like the Westerns um, and the Eastern hognose snakes. But I just thought this was pretty cool. Now I'm not a hognose snake expert, so I mean, don't take my, my words for, for at face value, but I'm just, you know, saying what I, what, how, as much as I know on them, but I mean, just do check out the belly on them. It's almost pitch black. And that's almost how all hognose snakes are really, but I just love the colors on this guy. It's absolutely stunning looking. All right guys, so the next thing I'm gonna be showing you guys is actually an albino corn snake. Now, um, it was actually kind of, I don't know if you consider it funny or bad or whatever. Um, someone, how we got this snake is someone ordered a corn snake. They took their mom's credit card and bought a snake. Um, I'm not gonna say which company, but they shipped it out and uh, she opened her door and she opened it and it said handle with care, opened it and it was an albino corn snake. So um, she said that they're not allowed to have snakes in the house. So she brought it here and just gave it to us, um, which I thought was pretty, Pretty funny, but not a good thing to do. So, I mean, if I have any younger viewers, you know, never do that, okay? Always get your parents' permission. Um, never just buy snakes uh, blindly without asking your parent or guardian. Uh, but it's just, you know, it's a cool looking snake. It's all albino, it's albino corn. Uh, pretty healthy, so, you know, uh, we're just gonna try giving it off to a good home. And you know, it happens a lot, cause you know, we, we got this snake as a donation, and I'm saying, we get at least four or five, no, uh, about four, four animals a month from donations. I mean, we easy, we even got a cockatiel one time, <laughs> even though we're not a bird, a bird place. But yeah, just you know, we get a lot of donations. Like we actually just got a, a panther chameleon, and the whole setup as a donation because it had a respiratory infection. And we actually were able to find a good home. I was gonna take it to the vet and everything, so that was really cool. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys this one. Just not buying a corn snake, but I thought I would share it with you guys. Hey guys, that is all it for that video. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'll see you guys next time in another video. Take care.